Good morning from Woodland North, Maydock, Ontario, Canada. So I promised to load videos of what I'm doing with this beautiful farmhouse. This is the first inside video. So this is my kitchen. Now, if anybody saw the kitchen that I had versus this, <laughs> I mean, it's doable. I'm I'm living, uh, we're not starving. We have a microwave, uh, coffee pot, which came with me in the front seat of my truck for anybody that knows that I love my coffee. Toaster oven, water works fine. And uh, my toaster over here. And uh, my honeybees honey from Millbrook, Ontario. So this little kitchen, oh, there's my Wi-Fi code so I don't lose it. And I found a remnant of horse tack outside. So I hung that up, thought it was kind of cool. Bought myself a wine glass, <laughs> the poor little pathetic thing hanging by itself. There's the one I used last night. Ha. So, oh yeah, my David's tea advent calendar. I mean, really, I mean, anybody that walked in here would say, yeah, Bonnie's been here. So there's my little mouse trap back here that hasn't caught anything, thank God. So what I'm doing with this kitchen is um, we're going to rip out everything. Everything is coming out except the window. The window is staying. Uh, now, interestingly enough, I saw the floor here and I thought it looked like really cool wood and I might try and save some of it to put on a wall for a wall application. But once we started peeling up a little bit in another room, some genius actually cut plywood into these beautiful six or seven inch planks and laid it as hardwood. Genius, genius idea. Only problem with that is this is the subfloor. So once we pull this up, we're right down to the basement. So that's gonna be a little tricky, uh, but we're gonna do it. So the room here uh, is gonna become something new, which is gonna be a three piece bathroom. So the toilet will go here and over on the far wall, this room is seven feet by seven feet, nine inches. So there'll be a shower along the back wall, five feet with storage. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do open storage or closed storage, but there will be storage there for towels. So the shower will come across here. There is an angled wall here. So as a kitchen designer, you automatically look at that and go, what is in there? So I crawled under here and the stack from the toilet upstairs comes down and goes through that angled wall, which is okay. It can stay because the shower can be built around that. I'm gonna do a 48 inch knee wall for the shower. There'll be glass from here up. The door will be an open doorway. It won't be very large, um, but the shower will be very elegant with glass up here so you can see through. And I haven't decided what sort of texture I'm using in there yet. I think I might use a tumbled uh, pebble as the wall and then something very simple on the floor, maybe like a gray tile that might be sort of reminiscent of a concrete sort of look. Then where the sink connection is, I'm leaving that. So a lot of times where expense comes in is when you start moving drains, plumbing access, things like that. So if you can work with what you already have, you're going to save money. And my goal here is to save money. So I'm gonna leave the sink where it is, not that sink, but the vanity will come across this section. So what I'm going to do, as you can see the challenge here, you see how the cabinetry sticks out beyond the door frame. So to save money again, I am not changing this door frame. That door frame is going to stay the same. Now I haven't measured it yet. It looks a little bit wide, but I like that. And if I have to have a custom door made there, that's okay because Big door openings, big windows, that's what gives a house elegance. And with the ceiling heights being low, um, I'm not even sure if they're eight feet. I think they're eight, but maybe because the color is so dark uh, and I haven't measured yet, so I gotta do that. 
but the vanity here is going to be a shallow vanity. So we're going to measure from here to the corner, run the vanity across here, connect it to the knee wall where the shower is going to start. So that depth there is probably about 15 inches. So it's going to be a very shallow, sleek looking vanity with a pedestal sink. And then there'll be a nice big mirror. And I'm going to do hanging pendant lights over top of the sink. This wall will be sh uh, shower tile as well. So it will come right across here all the way to the back. So it'll look like one clean, big, open space. So then the shower wall will run across the back here. Stop for the storage. Walk in uh, doorway here. Knee wall, glass. I might tile halfway around here and tile behind the toilet. I haven't decided yet. I'll have to wait and see um, what tile I pick and what the budget's gonna look like. There's my lunch. <laughs> Do you ever get out in the woods and feel like you have to start eating like a cave person? And I haven't had time to make my own soup. So that's what's happening at lunchtime today. So yay, hashtag Campbell's Chunky. Um, so yeah, I have, uh, oh, you can see <laughs> we had the container delivered yesterday. That was super fun. There's a moving trailer with all my crap in it and my Jeep. So that's the kitchen that is going to become a three-piece bathroom in the very, very near future. So stay tuned because these ones will be enjoying uh, a burning fire. Now I would try to repurpose these, but if you saw the inside, you would know why I'm not going to even try to burden someone with the problem of these cabinets. So that's what's happening. Now also just before I sign off here, uh, take a look at the paint color here. So this sort of soft sagey green and the blue table that I found at the Sterling Studio, which I absolutely adore that store, Sterling, Ontario. Cute little drop leaf tables come in real handy to hold my brand new microwave because otherwise it would have had really nothing to cook in except that. Um, so that sage green and this sort of powdery blue are going to be followed through the balance of the farmhouse. So that's what's happening in this room. Right now, it just looks a little junky and cluttered, but it's very tiny from what I'm used to being in. So I'm just making do with what I have. All right, guys, have a great day. Stay tuned.